You hear that? That's not a movie. That's not a drone. That is a freaking jet bike. Forget everything you thought you knew about flying machines, because this thing just flipped the entire rulebook, lit it on fire, and took off without looking back. It's called the Volanot Airbike, and it costs more than a Lamborghini Aventador. But when you see it fly, you'll understand why. And yes, this footage you're watching? It's not CGI, no green screens, no VFX, just a guy literally floating in the sky like he walked off the set of a Marvel movie After months of whispers and Reddit conspiracy threads saying, it's all fake, Volanot dropped the hammer. Raw flight footage, original audio, and take off with landing. And it's insane. This thing sounds like a fighter jet and rides like a sci-fi fever dream. It hovers, it spins, it climbs, and it does it all without a single exposed blade. So what makes this beast fly? Jet propulsion. Not propellers, not wings just straight up downward thrust from a system that's been packed into a machine that only weighs 30 kilograms. That's right, this flying bike weighs less than your gym buddy's bench press PR, and it's not just point and hope, you control this thing with dual joysticks like you're piloting a spacecraft. Wanna hover? Push down. Wanna dive? Tilt forward. Wanna look cool? Just exist on it. Built from carbon fiber and 3D printed parts, the air bike is sleek, light, and dangerous looking, but in the best way. It's fitted with an onboard computer that stabilizes your flight automatically, which means even you might look like a pro on day one. And if Iron Man had a budget version for Earth, this is it. Now let's talk about the skeptics. When Volanot's first footage came out, smooth camera moves, stabilized views, crazy mountain flights, people called BS. They said it looked too perfect. Wires. Maybe CGI. So what did the team do? They filmed it again, from the ground. No filters, no horizon lock, just raw, unfiltered flight with full blast audio. And it shut everyone up real quick. Of course, all of this comes with a price. A hefty $880,000. Yeah, that's not a typo. Nearly a million bucks for what's probably the closest thing we've got to a real-life speeder bike. But when you're the first to fly something like this, it's not just transportation, it's bragging rights for life. The current model hits a capped 102 kilometers per hour to meet ultralight regulations. But insiders say the prototype can scream up to 200 kilometers per hour. Flight time? About 10 minutes. Not long, but trust me, when you're soaring over mountain ridges with nothing between you and the wind but a flight suit, 10 minutes is all you need to lose your mind. This isn't just another rich guy's toy. It's proof that personal flight isn't just for the Jetsons or sci-fi flicks anymore. This thing skips the whole drone rotor nonsense and jumps straight to the good part, thrusters and freedom. Volanot opens pre-orders August 1st. That's right, this isn't some sketchy concept trapped in a lab. Limited production is already scheduled. You've got a shot at owning one. If you've got the cash and the courage, the Volanot Airbike isn't just a machine, it's a middle finger to physics and a love letter to every kid who ever drew jet bikes in the margins of their notebooks. Whether you're into tech, speed, or just want to feel like a superhero, this, this is the real deal. Like, comment, and subscribe Technology X AI if you're as blown away as I am, and I'll catch you in the stars.